Alright guys, in this video we're going to be talking about coordinate proofs and we're being asked here to find the missing coordinates of vertex Q. So we can see that we have a coordinate plane here and we can see that we have an isosceles triangle drawn on our coordinate plane. Again, we know it's an isosceles because we have two congruent sides, both here and here. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to find these missing coordinates on vertex Q. So very easily, we can see that, well, if we look at vertex S, we can see that it's at the origin, and the coordinates there are going to be 0, 0. So if you look at vertex Q, you can see that the Y value is going to be unchanging, right? Because it's remaining on that X axis. So the Y value for vertex Q is also going to be 0. Now, let's talk about how you're going to find this X value, though. So if we look at vertex R, we know that since we're dealing with an isosceles triangle here, we know that vertex R okay, is halfway between okay, both vertex S and vertex Q. So if you wanted to go ahead and just draw in a vertical dashed line for more of a visual, right, this is the halfway point between okay, vertex S and vertex Q. So knowing that, all we have to do is simply double okay, our X value here. So our x value is 2a. If I simply double that, that's going to be 4a. So q, right, vertex q, we're going to have the following coordinates. We're going to have 4a and then 0. Okay, and that is it.